Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I love Baymax and Big Hero 6 is one of my favorite Disney movies. And since I'm going to Disney World in a few weeks, of course I had to make myself some Baymax ears to go with my little Baymax shirt because if you've ever been to Disney, then you know it's all about making the outfits for every day. So I will definitely have a lookbook from my trip when I get back on this channel. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Also, I do a lot of fun unboxing videos and lifestyle and Disney related videos. So definitely, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. That way you can join in on the fun. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right in and show you how I made these cute little Mickey ears. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Okay, here's everything you're gonna need. A pair of Mickey ears, little plastic Baymaxes, some red fabric, some Baymax fabric, some super glue or any glue of your choice, needle and thread, and some fabric scissors. I will try to post links of everything I can find in the description box down below. So the first thing that you wanna do is just to cut out rectangles from both of your fabrics. I'm cutting a slightly smaller rectangle of my Baymax fabric than my red fabric because I want to make two bows layered on top of each other and I want the Baymax fabric to be on top. So you're just going to make sure to fold yours in half inside out and then you're going to sew or glue on each side leaving a gap in the middle so that you can turn it back right side out. I'm choosing to sew mine but you can use a machine or hand sew yours or you can use fabric glue or hot glue as well, whatever you have that's easiest for you to use. With the little opening that you left, you're just gonna pull the fabric right side out Get all the corners pushed out, that way you can move on to the next step. Now you just want to thread your needle. You can also use glue for this, but I just prefer to do it this way. shaping your bow so I like to gather from the middle and then just gather from each side to form the shape of my bow trying to get it as centered as I can once you have your shaped out then you just want to take uh, your needle and thread and stick it all the way through and then just loop that around a couple times so that the shape is secure in place and then you'll be able to just tie off your thread and be ready to move on to the next step. After you do your first bow, then go ahead and move on to your second bow by following the same steps, only making it a little bit bigger. Then you can just take the glue of your choice and glue the little bow on top of the big bow. solid fabric that you have and put a little dot of glue on the center of the bow and then you just want to fold this over and start wrapping it around gluing it all the way. This will just finish off your bow really nice and give you the perfect spot to place your little Baymax. left for the bow is to take your little Baymax and just glue him on right on the center. Isn't he so cute? I love this little guy. I got him on Etsy and I will definitely try to link that in the description box below if I can still find it. You could honestly 
actually stop here and just keep this as a little hair bowl because it's so cute but I really want to make some Mickey ears so that's what I'm gonna do with it luckily I have some extra fabric so I still have a little bit of playing around I can do okay well all that's left is to just glue them on your Mickey ears and I actually found these at Party City and they were really cheap and so I'm pretty sure I can find the link online I'll make sure to put that in the description box down below if I can find it you guys, this was super easy to make and I love how they turned out. The great thing about it is that you can totally adapt this to any of your favorite Disney movies or characters and make it your own. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to let me know if you make any of your own Mickey ears. You can tag me on Instagram at Chelsea Explores. I'll have the link in the description box down below.